so I'm out here trying out my ME light series FUT 028 uh, it has a RGB with white color in in it and uh, pretty simple I've connected it here is 12 volt from the batteries with the fuse here and uh, then you just uh, you have to pair them and I've already done that and when you have done that the remote works so you can uh, sort of change uh, yeah by pressing the M button you get different sort of and you, I think you can take control over it with the uh, with the uh, just if I want less white I press down there and then get more white so pretty here we got the RGB and then I have to put yeah. the connection is uh, I got this uh, to an Y splitter and then it goes out to two, two different LED strips and these are the ones with a sort of a plastic on it so it's more water resistance more higher EIP uh, yeah okay so let's test out the the range of the remote I'm about eight meters away and let's press the on button yeah no problem off on off yeah every function seems to be working so right now it is paired as it's, the remote is working so if I want to to turn unpair it then I just uh, this is the power 12 volts so I do it I try to do it quick but I press 1 2 3 4 5 and release and you see it's flashing yep and now I think it's unpaired you see yeah nothing happens when I press this so now it's unpaired so within three seconds from you have to power it on you press in my case the on button if you have more channels you press the channel you are interested in if you have one two three four something like that but I only have one channel so now I'm gonna pair it since it doesn't work you see nothing happens I do it the same exactly the same procedure I turn the power off wait a couple of seconds and push it in and fast holding it in and it starts flashing and release now it's paired the remote is working so next step I'm gonna measure the current so let me go and get a a, a um, ampere meter so let's measure the current flowing as you can see I've turned on both the white and the blue maximum I think is maximum and we get a reading of 2.55 amps so it's pretty it draws pretty much amp this is equal to 2.55 times 12 or 12.7 I guess we have 12.7 here or something like that so that equals about uh, uh, 30, 30 watts pretty much actually if I turn it off we get almost zero so we have to calibrate it is it that one no <laughs> no maybe you just turn it off and on again yeah and we turn it on and we got about the same amps I'm trying to get as much as I can yeah so this is about 3 amps is 
probably the maximum. I can't go more on the white. I can only go down. Now we go down on the white. So now it's about 15 watts. And if I turn off the so very little, we get about four. 0 0.2 times 12 it's about 4 watts something like that so that's more manageable so let's measure it with the Fluke 789 I'm measuring here it's the amp settings and we get 0 0.138 amps and the meanwhile this uh, this meter Kaisa is measuring 0 0.22 measuring the magnet field and electric field perhaps yeah so let's cramp it up with this one again Oops. this one can only measure one amp 30 seconds so we have to be careful so we don't blow the fuse anyway now it's about the same this measures one amp and this one 0 0.94 so pretty much accurate this, this is the battery I connected the fluke here and then uh, we go to the yeah where we have the other side here we have the other side so it goes through the fluke and to the power side of the lead battery side here so I'm not able to get more than uh, maximum 3 amps here then I would recommend a fuse for, for 5 amps that's that's normal a bit more than the maximum so we'll put a 5 amp here we seem to have some pieces that are broken. Yeah. I'm comparing it with uh, this one. We don't have this one lightning. So something is wrong, but so maybe you need even more, but 5 6 amps should be enough. So if I measure the voltage we get 12.7 volt here at the inlet of the the FU, FUT 028 so now I put the LEDs on a moderate small cons consumption of current it draws uh, 0 0.2 amps and if we should count this you take 0 0.2 times 12.8 volts you get 2.56 watts so 2.56 watts it consumes right now of course if you put it to 3 amps it will consume a lot more but yeah that's pretty much it this is what I want to show I wanted to show you how to pair and unpair this one since I it wasn't that easy for me first time until you find how you should sync this so now I've done that and uh, yeah happy camping <laughs> hope you like and subscribe bye bye by the way, we got a hot day today, 28.7, and I'm in the shadow, but it's nice, I like it.